I was reading an article and I don't read a lot of mainstream articles. Oh, it's 1.01 p.m. Of course it is. Um, so I'm reading an article by Harriet Brewis. It's called Lost Landmass Once Home to 500,000 People Discovered Under the Sea. And it's off the... I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's off the um, north of Australia and below um, New Guinea and that. And it says that um, many large islands off Australia's coast, islands that once formed part of the continental show, show signs of occupation before sea le levels rose. There's a bit where it describes... Well, anyway, <clears throat> so the first thing I thought was Lemuria, right? Of course. Um, but, you know, wearing this pendant today, I don't always wear it, as you know. It's kind of adding to that. And my memory of Lemuria, which is different lifetimes and um, quite faded, is of Lemuria being in the south between um, Australia and New Zealand, maybe a little above New Zealand, but um, hang on. But they're saying it wasn't just one place. There was they're saying it wasn't ideal. So the the the. Peoples on different islands and different continents in the south held a similar ideal, which was more heart-based. And the um, Atlanteans, which was in the north, which I remember... from yes, from so many different lifetimes... Um, and then it turns into ancient Egypt over time as well. Um, I remember that being where the, what's that, the eye in the desert, what's it called? Yeah, in the Sahara. Oh, oh. A few a few weeks ago I had an activation and they said the goddess Sahara awakens and I figured that the Sahara desert will green again yeah so the eye of Sahara the reach at structure I'm just asking why are they joining and they're saying which what we, what we already know is the heart and the mind have got to synchronize again we got out of sync um, we allowed a little too much freedom of experimentation free will there does come to a point where you have to intervene if others are imposing on others' free will, I guess. And then we get caught back in this. Yeah, and now there's articles popping up saying Atlantis might be the in the Sahara. Yeah, so... Okay, this started with Lemuria, but I'll go with it. So, the shape of it is what I remember. 
but I also um, and the drawings that other people do I um, the shapes right but I remember a time after the fall where it's been where it had been lost and the people had forgotten and the um the the rings of canals had been filled in but one um but it was the chakra colors the crown was in the middle the crown city was in the middle and then the third eye was a void and you had to go over a bridge to get there so the crown was completely cut off and then you go through the other chakra areas the stone was just kind of naturally everything just naturally kind of changed to the traditional colors of the chakras and it's you know these things they're memories but they're also analogies right because there is only this now moment And so the people who tended to gravitate into the different colour rings were people living their different lessons, um, which now I suppose were all mixed. Oh, well, it's just something to think about, but, you know, and it is the year of the rabbit hole, right? But we have to remember to come back to it's all within us. Everything that happens outside of us is also an analogy of what for what's going on inside us. Past lives are an analogy. They are a invitation to heal something that you can heal from the wounds of this life because we carry it through or we project it out so it feels a little more distant so it's easier to digest maybe because it's a lifetime separated from the one we're in either way it's kind of in um because i'm all about healing always even when i'm just talking it's holding space um there's a rambling so even you might be aware that there's a massive boulder in the caves of your being and there is a block and it's painful and you it's so big and you feel so small and even with all your friends and, and everything, you can't move that. We don't need to blast it out. It could cause huge shocks and tower moments, which is fine. If, but that can cause more trauma. We have little ones. <laughs> um, it, it's easier on the soul. Easier on the being, the body. Because the body is holding all this energy. Um, so we chip away at little... Well, little, little rocks all around, all in front of the boulder. We pull away those first. And sometimes when you pull away one, a few more will fall away. And it's like, what, wonderful, wonderful. Sometimes it does create an avalanche. But what we're aiming for is to build up that trust with ourselves. You pull away that little stone and you look at this little argument that you had with somebody, you heal it within you, you let it go, it vanishes. And then you celebrate that. Good job, 1001. I did a good job. I'm good at this, I can do this. And we don't have to push, digging, digging, digging. Sometimes we dri we're driven, right? To got to, got to, got to, got to, got to, got to get it out, got to get it out. I'm one of those people. Makes my life hectic. <laughs> um, 
but if you can be gentle and just allow life to pop up triggers 1 1 1 p.m 1 11 p.m yeah it's a good start um it's cloudy if we We allow life to pop up the little triggers. Okay. okay. Thank you, a-hole, for triggering me. Why is this triggering me? This is, if it wasn't in me, it couldn't upset me. Have a look around. Have a shuffle inside. Dig into it and see what that, that thing is like. Someone's being an a-hole, but it is at the end of the world, right? Um, why is it bothering me? And you can go into past lives and all that if you want to, but it doesn't need to be. And just, just see that. Be mindful, but not self-critical. Mindfulness and, and, and having a critical mind is not the same as being self-critical, judging yourself harshly, 1144. Um... Yeah, and it does, like I've said before, it's that spiral, it's that spiral path. You feel like a 12 12, you feel like, oh, I'm here again. Again, why is this coming up again? And just be gentle with yourself and calmly remind yourself one, two, two, one, that um, you have healed the layer that you visited last time. Otherwise, you wouldn't be at a new layer, all right? I did a good job. I did a good job last time. I can do a good job. And you just, just imagine just shaving, just shaving a little off every time. Just a little bit. Every time you do a pass. And allow your life to gracefully unfurl, is what they're saying. Um, rather than having to have the huge shake-ups but it is choice sometimes we do call our soul does call for a huge shake-up because we've gotten so stagnant 13 13 oh yes oh yes and just remember that somebody loves you and if you don't believe that it's me one three three one If other people can hate for no reason at all, I can love for no reason at all. Other than it's easier than hating. Be well, my loves. Thank you for being here with me. I can feel you. Rocketing through to the end of my rambles. Good job. <laughs> Bye.